each lot go just to have some clear space. Yeah, yeah, and we'll do it on lap one. I'll just, just hit it without anyone in front of us. What's up guys, welcome back to another video, hope you're all doing well today. So we are back at Flackwell Heath, this was on Saturday the 14th of May, and very, very hot day. Uh, I want to throw that out there to begin with because I won't lie, I struggled quite a lot more this time out on the bike than I did in the last video. And I think it was just a combination of, I think it's been, it's been like three weeks or a month, something like that, since last time I rode. And the heat combined with the track conditions as well, just my, my arms fell apart, you know, I was blowing out my arse, I was dripping with sweat after every single session. Um, but that being said, overall still a good day the track was fairly quiet today which i was quite surprised by uh, you've seen this clip here i'm just waiting up for one of my buddies behind me um fairly new getting back into the riding side of things and he's just kind of lacking that little bit of confidence in the jump so i just said you know what draft me look at the speed that i hit some of these and see if that could build his confidence at all um, i reckon he'll, he'll get that with with no time at all um it's really really good um, met a few people today uh, one of them being which you would have seen in the thumbnail uh, if you watch me for the mx bikes so kind of like the video game side of things uh, you'll know who, who Reese's, you know, he's uh, one of the faster guys out there. We always have good battles when it comes to things like aerial and stuff like that. If you don't follow me for the uh, the video and stuff, and you're just here for the IRL stuff, um, you'll have no idea who he is. So ignore what I've just said. Uh, but yeah, it was a really, really good day. Uh, I think I got in about four sessions in total, and we, we do 20 minute sessions here at Flackwell, and I, I did not survive an entire session once. You know, I was absolutely hanging. Um, this first, no, this is this is the second session of the day. I always, well, I never put on the camera for the first session because I, I'm always a pussy. It doesn't matter how many times I go to the same track, I'll always like roll everything for the first two, three laps or so. Um, but it's really, really good to get some footage of uh, me and Reese together in the later sessions, which I hope you'll enjoy as well. Uh, I even that jump on the left right there. It doesn't. I don't know if it's meant to be used or if it's just an old like layout that they don't use anymore but you can't hit it from the inside of the corner but you can if you go all the way out wide you can still hit it and i do that today just out of the blue just for a bit of fun and it's actually a really really nice jump i'm not sure why we don't use it at all um but you'll see that later on as well i'm not going to talk through the whole video again i quite like last time where i just let you watch it for the most part and then every now and then i'll kind of just like jump back in if i've got anything to add to it and i think it's just a nice combination of the two you know i don't want to be sat here talking the whole time i want to actually let you kind of hear the engine and things like that uh, what i will say is definitely feeling more comfortable in the air again obviously very very dry track conditions today so there's no no ruts up the face of the jumps or anything like that you, you know what you're getting each time you hit it's just as long as you're nice and smooth on the power it's fine um did struggle in the turns but where it was dry there wasn't really ruts as such to hold you so it's quite low me so you'll steer with the back end a lot which in turn took a lot of energy out of my arms as well trying to kind of muscle the bike around the turn um, which is i know 100 percent is something that i need to work on my corner speed right now is absolutely atrocious so i do apologize for that in advance um, but just enjoy a couple laps i'll check in with you guys every now and then and enjoy the video Right here is me uh, meeting Mr. Cooper for the first time. He's even got his uh, in-game bud racing team on his bike. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I actually, I was very, very surprised with the speed of us. He, 100% he's faster than me. Um, but there was a period of like two laps. So I, I'd done something different in this session. was something I never do. I went out first ahead of everyone just to try and put down some solid laps, see, see how much I can push. And I used like, obviously I, I don't know if anyone else does it. You kind of not, not look behind as such, but look across the track to see where someone is in relation to you. And I've done it for the first four laps or so um, with Reese behind me and he, he was chasing me down the whole time. And I think for the first two laps, it stayed like identical. And after that, I dropped off a cliff. <laughs> uh, I, I use this bit here, so just slightly to the left there, I was checking to see where it was each lap. And yeah, I was very, I was very, very surprised. Um, like just two guys that play video games together and just somehow end up being a very, very similar speed IRL. Um, 
it does make me realise that I need to spend more time in the gym and less time playing video games because I think if I had it in my arms, I would have been absolutely fine to try and battle and try and hold the pace a little bit more. But I literally, I just did not, did not have it in me. You know, I think, I, I think I lost about four laps or so in this session, and then I, once my arms go, that's that's it. It's like I can't even like push through it anymore. I just kind of tiptoe around the track or like. I'll hit the jump still because obviously jumps are incredibly fun and don't take too much out of your arms as long as you die, downside them okay but yeah the, the corners I was, um, I was I was struggling with quite a lot today but again it was really it was nice to meet people because uh, the, the guy that I was speaking to at the very very beginning of the video um, he works with my dad actually and oddly enough he stumbled across one of these GoPros prior to um, going here because he wanted to see what the track was like and I just thought it was really really just quite funny circumstances you know small world and all that but it's it's one of the things that i'm trying to get used to as well because when i do my live streams and stuff on fridays um but people ask me where i'm going riding on the weekend and as someone that's not overly confident in person and kind of keeps themselves it's very weird putting yourself out there in that way and kind of meeting people and talking to them for the first time uh, but i suppose we've all got this common interest haven't we at the end of the day and we, we all enjoy it uh, i think as i turn this left here i'll slot it down a second you'll see what i mean so this was the part of the track i was checking so reese is right there just exiting that corner as i'm here and you'll see as a, la a lap will pass in a second it'll be about the same distance and then after that is when it all goes downhill you know i, I start slowing down so so much and i, I tried to do the right things throughout the session to kind of save as much energy as possible you know trying to change my lines so i'm not hitting absolutely every single little braking bump uh like stand up into the turns and sit down late and all, all that stuff it's, it's purely a case of bike time i think and I, I can only get out kind of every three weeks or so at the moment so it's very very difficult to like build that base of bike fitness uh obviously the gym can get you so far but then you do you do need time on the bike as well which is something that i'm really going to be trying to trying to push for at least and we'll, we'll see how it goes um i mean overall i can't be too unhappy with like my one or two lap speed i'm quite happy with is this after that last struggle which is why i'm holding off on the racing side of things for a while i just want to keep going practicing until i can build up that stamina because the last thing i want is to go to a race having expectations doing okay for the first half of each each moto so to speak and then just blowing out my ass after that and just getting disappointed in myself um but uh, yeah It's about similar. I think he's gained maybe a second on me there. And this is what I'm saying. I think he's got about a second to two seconds on me when we're fresh. As soon as I get kind of to the three lap or so mark, he probably turns to about 10 seconds because I I just fall apart. I uh, got a little bit unlucky here with the timing of getting to people. You'll see him on the right-hand side there getting a little bit closer. Um, I, all I was thinking in my head, it's really, really sad, but I was thinking in my head, like, bloody lappers. Even though it's practice, I know he's a lapper. We always have this ongoing joke when we're, like, racing the Supercross series on MX Bikes for example that the lappers are, are terrible and like this that and the other and it's a case of getting lucky and I, it's really sad that I thought that when I was riding and not focusing on the riding itself but it just it made me laugh inside my own helmet I just really <laughs> I just found it quite funny it's a little bit unfortunate sometimes I mean when you go to public tracks you, you never know what you're going to get and I'm in that situation where I ride in the intermediate so slap bang in the middle and some people don't have the right level of awareness of what's going on around them if that makes sense uh, i don't have the speed to ride in the expert group i don't think but i certainly have like the brain you know i can look around me i know what's going on and i know how to get out of the way of people and things like that
and that was me blowing out my ass at the end of that session. So moving on to my final session of the day, uh, I was just saying to Reese here that the the double that I had hit at the end of the last session, which I didn't actually get on video, uh, I just said, you know, like kind of sit behind me on lap one, just so you can get an idea of the speed to hit. Um, it's a really, really nice double. I don't know why we don't use it, which is, it's a bit of a shame. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's meant to be there to be hit as like a split line if you want to. But, I mean, you, you can't hit it from the inside of the corner at all. Like, it doesn't it doesn't set you up for it very well. You have to go right around the outside to kind of line up for it. Um, but it's a nice jump. It's quite a floaty one. It sends you quite high. Uh, whether, they, whether they don't really use it at all or grade or anything, the landing's a little bit a little bit sketchy. Um, you, you have your, like, your normal downslope, and then there's like a little hole at the bottom of it as well. I was just looking over my shoulder there quickly just to check Bruce was there to kind of just tag on the back and it's a nice one I got I hit it a couple times I got front wheel high a few times though no, not to the extent where it's like oh I've got to damp the back brake or get right out the front to try and bring it back down um, but I think I just my body position was a little bit off on the takeoff I think which again is something that I'm trying to trying to slowly learn over time trying to slowly get used to as well um, but you know overall whilst I believe I struggled more today than I did last time I wrote I still did, I still enjoyed the day, and I think that is the most important thing. As long as you don't go home like super pissed off with how you rode or anything, I mean, I'm, I'm more than happy with my like one, two, three lap speed. It's then when you get past that that I, I start struggling. And I think it's, it's purely bike time. I got, I got really annoyed here. You see me like put my head up in the air. I completely missed that inside route, and I don't, I don't know if it was the shadows leading up to it or whatever, but I just completely missed my turn. In point, I had to go round it, and then also Reese got back past. He had a little instant right here. Uh, just oh, he had to keep himself uh, from topping over right there, and I was, I was laughing in my bash out. It was so so funny. Uh, although it doesn't it doesn't take him very long to catch up and, and come back past me again. Especially as I think I think I've done like another lap, and this is exactly the same space actually. I've done another lap, and again my arms have gone. You know, fourth session of the of the day, uh, incredibly high heat. It, it was bound to happen. I feel like I've done quite a good job, but something that I never usually do. I feel like everyone's bad for this, is like just drinking enough water throughout the day. I even made sure that yesterday I was taking a lot of water on board as well just to try and pre-hydrate myself because I knew it was going to be hot. Uh, but yeah, the, I think the track conditions combined with the heat um, and also, I like making excuses, but it's a good one for you. I went rock climbing on Wednesday night as well after work and in my experience, I don't know if anybody else goes rock climbing or anything like that, but it's one of the only things that can really simulate arm pump for me the same way the motocross does and my arms this morning were, were still hurting after rock climbing on Wednesday uh, but again that, that's something that me and my girlfriend do each time we see each other but it's something that I, I kind of think like I should do off my own back as well outside of that just to try and keep my arms strong and keep my arms fit um, this this is it actually the video is coming to end I didn't even realize I'd edited it down down this much uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it regardless and say it was a good day I enjoyed myself I hope you've enjoyed watching the video if you did please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new have a lovely rest of the day whatever you guys are up to and I tend to catch you in the next video peace I'm working hard, I'm sacrificing my life, I'm sacrificing my mind, I'm sacrificing my sanity, but most importantly, I'm sacrificing my time. Boy, I feel fine, I feel like I am a king. Honestly, I can't complain. Even with faith that's the size of a grain of some salt, I will still move a mountain and do what I want. I guess